So what we do is we come to File, uh, New, Page, come down to PHP, then come up here on this tab, you're going to right click it and click Save, and we're going to call this Send, and just save this. Now, um, rather than making you suffer through uh, <laughs> me writing out the code line by line, I've already written the code out. It's not that much code, but just in the interest of time, uh, I just written it out already. So, and I'll but I'll walk you through what I've done. Um, so we, we come to expressionweb.us, go to learn, and you come down here where it says php underscore form dot txt. Click on that, and then here is the PHP code. So um, let me, uh, you can hit Control A on your keyboard, then uh, right click, copy it, and uh, we'll minimize this and go back into Expression Web. Now, the, the key with this code that you've just copied is it has to be entered into the code view, not on the design view, and again between the body tags. So, what we do is uh, you put your cursor between the body tags, you right click, and then just paste it. Now, um, starting with Expression Web 2, um, there's internal support for PHP. So, what Expression Web will do will actually go through and, in a sense, validate the code by um, color coding it. And uh, so, if there's errors in your code, it should show up in here. But uh, let's just kind of walk through this uh, real quickly. Um, let me put some space here between some things here. Um, okay, so what this this code basically relies on the PHP, which is a scripting language, server-side scripting language. It, it has to be running on your hosting account. And basically this whole thing runs off the fact that there is a function within PHP called the mail function, and it's right here. And that mail function actually has to have three variables in it. It has to have the to, the subject, and the message variable. And these are all defined up here. Here where it says to, this is where you put in your email address. So wherever you want this data going that the person's entering from your website, this is where you put the, the email address. Uh, the subject is whatever you want the subject of line of the email to be. And then here is the message variable. Now here's the difference between the the previous video we did and this video is this is how you have to lay out the code to be able to send multiple fields and basically here on our form we're collecting four variables you know name email phone and math we're collecting these four variables and then we're um, at least three of the variables um, we're stringing them together and uh, you do that simply by uh, using this little period mark and um, and so you just would follow the code as it's set up here um, you could call have as many fields as you wanted to and by using that little dot which is actually what they call is uh, concatenate uh, concatenation um, it's how you tie multiple variables together and actually can put them into a single variable and uh, so it's an uh, important concept to know in the PHP languages how to concatenate strings and that way you can uh, tie multiple variables together, put them into one variable and then have them mailed. So it's pretty neat, pretty neat. So, um, but it's a little different and it's a little, uh, and you can't, the thing, this is actually one thing I don't like about programming is, you know, you can't miss one little dot. If you leave one little dot out, it won't work. So. Uh, you have to be very, um, you know, meticulous when you're doing writing code because you can't have one thing missing. Um, but anyway, um, that's how it works. And then what we have here um, is we basically have this math question. So the way this reads is that if the number equals 12, in other words, if the person enters 12, then send the email and then send a message saying thanks for registering. Else, uh, if they don't enter the number 12, they do anything other than enter the 12, they leave it blank or put the wrong number, then it asks, did you answer the mess question, your registration was not sent. And then uh, up here on the top is the beginning of the PHP code, and at here at the end is the ending of the code. So once the code, uh, once this is uh, loaded up onto your server and it gets activated, it runs the PHP code. It starts out as HTML, 
um, it hits the PHP code, it runs the PHP code, when it's done running it goes back into HTML code. And what this does is this basically creates a link back to whatever page you want. Because otherwise if there is nothing, if you don't put this on there, your page will essentially be blank. And there might there might not be any way for the person to navigate back to your website or the page where they were. So you can put this on there to provide a link back to whatever page you want them to go to. In this case, uh, case I, I'm directing them back to the, the home page. So uh, once this um, code is uh, cut and pasted in and, and you've adjusted it to whatever fields you want, in this case we're just using the, you know, the four variables we created, um, we save it and um, believe it or not, we're done. Now um, what I have done is uh, I did uh, load this up on a uh, we can go into, I guess we can go into Google, let's go into Google, can jump around here a little bit, but um, let's go to Google, and if you go to um, test zone uh, expre dot expression web dot us, I've created a mock-up of the, the form, and um, so let's see how it works, we can type in a name, Kevin, uh, it doesn't matter me, Kevin at, at uh, hotmail.com, and I can have my phone number is 555-555-555, and watch what happens when I hit submit. Did you answer the math question, your registration was not sent? So um, we have to go back to home, do it again, uh, Kevin. Um, Kevin at hotmail.com five 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 and then twelve and hit submit and it says thank you for registration registering your see you soon and we can go back to uh, our home page and I checked on the um, email and that uh, that was sent. Uh, so let me uh, let me also show you one other thing here. Uh, let me go through this uh, line of code one last time here and kind of just walk you through what it's doing is uh, this is gathering the data from this form over here so all the input that the, the person entered over here is being stored in these uh, names and then uh, it's being reassigned to these variable names. So this here, the dollar sign with the number, dollar sign name, dollar sign email, dollar sign phone, those are all variable names. And then uh, when you come over here to the message, what's happening is, um, and always remember that the, the it actually reads from right to left, so it's saying gathering this data um, equals is assigned to this variable name. The name data is uh, using this post variable is being assigned to the variable name name. Email is assigned to the email variable name and phone data is being assigned to the phone variable name. So when you see the dollar sign with that name in the in the black um, font, that's basically the variable name. So over here in the blue, what the blue is is really this is what you'll see on your email. So it's going to say name colon and then uh, it'll put in what other, whatever information that per person put in their name. This right here, the quotes of the RN, that returns it to a new line. So then you'll see the name, whatever the person entered, and then it'll drop down, and you'll see, uh, it'll drop down a line, and then you'll see email, colon, uh, and the variable for whatever they put in their email. The, the RN again will drop it down a line, and then you'll see phone and phone. So that's what that function does. So basically that's all there is to uh, creating a form with um, multiple fields. And, uh, you know, as always, if you have any questions on this, you know, feel free to uh, send us an email or comment. And uh, if we can, we'll certainly try to get, respond to, to you. And uh, thanks so much for subscribing and have a great day.